Morning guys, Red Shadow here from River Valley Survival and Bushcraft. Um, I'm just going to do a VR video here. It's my first VR video. I'm going to do it for John Cap's channel. He's doing a subscriber appreciation giveaway. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel, check it out. They do some pretty wholesome stuff on there with the kids, you know, taking them outside, getting them outdoors. And, uh, you know, I think that's pretty cool right there. So, if he wants to leave a comment of a channel with a link, you know, he wants to leave a comment with a link from a channel that we've learned something off of. Uh, or either do a video of us making something that we learned how to make off the internet. So, what I'm going to do is make a flute like this. I learned it from watching, uh, I think it's Primitive Living Skills channel there. I believe his name is Josh. He makes flutes like this um, out of sumac. So we're going to do one out of bamboo here. Mine's got a little crack in it here, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a whole new one. My sound holes aren't working that good, so we're going to get our stuff together, guys, and uh, whip up one of these. We'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm going to try to copy this flute again onto a new piece of bamboo here. We've got a piece that's lining up the same with our nodes. Pretty close anyway. And I like to use this little grooved piece here on our bamboo right above one of the nodes here. That's my, my hole, my space for my holes there. So what we're going to do, we need to take this piece right here at our top node where our mouthpiece is at and we need to make it flat so we'll go ahead and do that with a file here we got a little rasp file here alright guys so I tried to draw here on this piece of paper what the inside of our flute is going to look like here the angles we need to burn in we're going to burn these in the top piece here is right here this piece here is our node right there this piece here where our finger holes are is the other side of our node right here this indented spot here so what we're going to do is come here to the top side of our node and make a hole and then the underside of our node and make a hole and we need to put these angles on these things so we're going to burn them in first we need to get us some holes started here we'll do that in one second guys I hope this makes a little sense there the way that's going to look on the inside when we're done alright guys we've got our Coleman stove cranked up with our screwdriver heating up on it our first angle we're going to put in is this top angle here, closest to the mouthpiece. Right here. I think this is hot enough here. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to stick it in like this, making a sharp angle. Hopefully it'll burn through completely. There we go. And you just want to work that angle with your flat piece of your screwdriver there, your flathead. Something like that right there. Gonna heat this thing up and come back with our other angle cut there. We'll get back. Alright guys, ready for our second burn in here. Got our screwdriver good and hot there. Just gonna come to it with the mouthpiece facing us this time and put our angle right here. This angle. So Pull our screwdriver off. Try to line our holes up as close as possible there. I'm just going to put this in there until it burns in. Almost there. Whoa. Just kind of work it a little bit. Forgot to tell you, when we were burning this angle, we burned both angles. We burned our angle for our node here and our top angle by the mouthpiece. Screwdriver fit right in there. Second burn, straight as possible, I guess. 
So that's what we got so far, guys. We got two angle cuts in there. It's hard to see. But just like on the paper here, that's what we put, these three angles. Alright, guys, we're going to come back and uh, put up a cap over this. See if I can find one. Just a piece of bamboo split here. With one side flattened out. It's going to be a piece here to cover our holes. Send our air. I don't know what any of this stuff's called. Hardly. It's not to make them. But uh, we're going to make one that fits this flute here. So get some stuff busted out. Alright guys, so we got our little bamboo split here. Just a piece of it. I think we're going to stick with this width here we got. For that. We just need to come, I already put a score here on this end. We're just going to come to where we don't cover our bottom hole here by our finger holes. We're going to cover the top hole by our mouthpiece completely and leave part of this bottom hole exposed. So somewhere right in there where I got the score mark here. I'm going to cut that off. Alright, I'll shape it up a bit. We need this thing to be flat on the bottom there, so I'm going to start carving this off. Or we can use a file to do this. Just run it back and forth on it till it smooths out flat. Alright guys, we took our little split here and smoothed that end down, trimmed it up to size. I like to cover my top hole by the mouthpiece there. I'll leave partial hole right there exposed underneath. Cover it up and blow it, see what happens. <laughs> We got a little sound coming out. I think we'll go ahead and drill our holes and see what happens. I believe this is a 9.30 seconds bit here. I can't tell. It's kind of worn out right there. I believe it's a 9.30 seconds so. though. If not, it's the one right under that. So, just going to throw it in our drill here. Alright, we're going to line these up and try to get them just about the same here. We're going to try to copy this flute. So, put one about here somewhere. Pin's not wanting to write on here. Put one about an inch away. Right here somewhere. When I made this one here, I just winged it. I don't know, watch the video online like I said. Learned the schematics on it. I just winged it and it turned out. Alright guys, so our last hole here is a little bigger. That's how I've seen it done on a few videos there, so I just copied it. Got a 5 16 bit there for the last hole. Excuse me. Go ahead and drill these guys on out here. See what happens with it. You want to be easy and not split your... You want to be easy not to split your bamboo there, so... Go easy with it. in there. I like to come back with a file here or something, piece of concrete, anything, and just kind of flatten this thing out. Kind of dips in like this. So we'll just flatten this edge out so we can get a good seal over our holes with our fingers there. I don't know if you can see that, but the inside of these holes where we drilled has left little bitty um, splinters in there, so we're going to try to clean them up too. Tried it out, got him. 
So we'll see if it works on this one or not. We'll clean these up and get back with you. So we just shaped our inside of our holes up there where we drilled it out and it left little splinters on the inside there. We got them out the best we could. All that's left to do now is see if the thing makes any noise. We're just going to take our little piece here we made. I call it the hole covers. I don't know what it's called really. I have to look that up. But uh, We'll just stick it on there and hold it with our finger see if we can get any noise out of this thing here. Uh oh. Got something going on there it sounds like. Alright, so we're getting sound out of our flute there. Just gonna take a piece of this hide strap here. I'm just gonna tie it on. Alright, let's see if all of our sound holes work. Start at the bottom here.